Among the milestones in the 2020 financial performance, growth in the fund size to 618 million kina, management expense ratio falling below 2% for the first time since 2016, and member savings net cash flow of 3.39 million kina, the first positive result since 2016. Net asset value grew by 20 million kina or 3.3% due to financial assets fair value improvement with BSP shares and favorable movements in Toya Homes Limited. Total revenue dropped by 7.5 million kina or 17% mainly due to reductions in dividend receipts and a major drop in property income. While net profit after tax dropped by 21.6% from 2019, it was ahead by 3.3% against the 2018 performance. CTSL withstood the COVID-19 pandemic impact by reviewing and realigning costs corresponding to income and took strict measures where cost savings could be done. This resulted in the reduction of the management expense ratio. CTSL also received 34 million kina from the state in unfunded liabilities to settle pending cases of retired Defence Force personnel from 2018 up to January 2020. The state, however, still owes the fund 255 million kina in unfunded contributions. Another positive outcome was that for the first time since 2016, member contributions were higher than member payouts. CTSL anticipates another tough year but believes the fund is positioned well for the future. Cedric Pajole, TV1 News.